Why is it important to notify Dan before a dive trip starts? Let's find out together. Welcome to another Get to Know Dan video series episode. My name is Dr. Franz Cronier, the founder of Dan Southern Africa. If you want to learn more about Divers Alert Network and the safety work we do, please subscribe to our Dan Southern Africa YouTube channel or visit the Dan blog to get the latest news so you don't miss anything. Okay, so let's talk about the importance of notifying Dan before your dive trip. Travel notification is there to ensure that the Dan hotline team knows when its members are traveling abroad and to note this on the system. This information is invaluable in case there is a need for fast and speedy service when you need it. With the information provided, the Dan hotline team can actually plan for potential evacuation procedures and advise you or those taking care of you about the availability of appropriate facilities where you will be diving. So are you planning a dive trip? Certainly sounds exciting. Well, if you do, then please use the link below. In the description section, you will see what you need to do to notify Dan. And by the way, here's something to consider before traveling to your next dive destination. One of the joys of diving is that it is an opportunity to travel. Now, of course, we're in a situation now with COVID-19 where travel has been curbed, but we are experiencing a gradual opening up even though there are occasional closures, etc., etc. So we need to deal with the realities of now, but it's not going to carry on forever. So the advice we're giving here is going to be relevant, but make sure that it is relevant when you plan to travel. And if you don't know, call Dan. We can even advise you in that regard. Now, travel itself induces an element of risk, particularly regarding the countries you travel through and the countries you travel to. There can be disease, civil unrest, war or terrorism. And as such, Dan strongly encourages its members to seek out and heed any travel warnings prior to taking a trip to foreign countries. Travel warnings are never popular and sometimes we are even blamed by dive resorts when we warn our members about travel in areas where they do their business. Clearly they don't want to miss out on business but our primary loyalty and our mission is towards our members. So there's sometimes a conflict of interest but we carry the interests of our members first. So travelers, dive members, Dan, Please seek warnings early. In this regard, foreign embassies are sometimes more helpful than the resident government may be. Therefore, Dan encourages its members to review their own government or, in certain cases, other foreign embassies' websites for information or restriction advisories on the countries they intend to visit. Wherever possible, Dan alerts its members to overtly hazardous situations, but we're not going to be aware of all of them. And therefore, we would like you to also do your own research. Dan will honor its commitments to active members who are already in a country prior to the appearance of civil unrest. But the reality is that sometimes the infrastructure embargoes and interruptions and in travel simply don't allow us to provide the support that we otherwise would be able to do quite easily. So it's not just about not wanting to go or being careful about going, it's also about the reality of the treatment we might be able to provide. 
So Dan's assistance and advisory services are always at your disposal when planning trips, even more so if it is to areas with potentially volatile situations. Dan and the group policy it has, in other words the insurance company that covers Dan and extends this cover to its members, cannot make the decision to travel on behalf of the member because they don't necessarily know the information. As such, it is ultimately the member's decision to make, but make a wise one. As a general guideline, Dan advises all its members, even those already traveling or with existing travel plans, to make sure that the area they're going to is safe. Make sure that your annual cover is in place, notify Dan about your trip and possibly consider the uh, injuries or diseases or vaccinations or additional precautions one should take. In certain situations it would be wise to get a prescription from your general practitioner to take with you just in case a disease were to occur and whether it would be wise to take anti-malarial medication in addition to other preventative measures. Dan confirms that short-term cover will also likewise remain valid subject to the similar terms and conditions we mentioned previously. Dan's group policy cover does not issue statements on the safety of travel in the case of civil unrest or hostilities and deliberately going into an area with known civil unrest or hostilities is foolishness. We cannot accept responsibility for things breaking out and conditions deteriorating and therefore being limited to assist. So notify us about your trips Make sure that you have done everything possible to make sure that losses, claims, indemnities and any other issues such as potential tropical diseases and access to uh, medical facilities are all known to you. And if you don't know, we might be able to assist you with that. Go to a qualified dive medical practitioner prior to your trip or at least a travel medical practitioner especially if vaccinations are recommended. Sometimes recommendations are not relevant for all areas where divers travel. They may only be necessary for inland hikes, etc. So let's talk about two good things that we would like to offer you. Firstly, a download. We'd like to offer you the download of the Guide to Decompression Illness. It's a link down below and you can download this guide and it's chock and block with information. And secondly, do you have the Dan mobile app? If you don't, please download it. This app is available on Android and smart iPhones and can be readily downloaded and means that Dan is at your fingertips and most areas in the world, particularly where the infrastructure is good, even in remote locations, Wi-Fi access is available. So it's literally like having Dan in your hand and you can do live chat, exchange pictures and plan evacuations or even certain telemedical assistance in this way. So download now. Don't delay until you're already on your trip. But if you are, get the app wherever you can as soon as you have Wi-Fi access. To learn more about the things we've spoken about, look at the descriptions below. And thank you for your time. Thank you for listening to the videos that we present. The next one will be about the Dan Legal Network because believe it or not, from time to time, Dan members need legal support. And Dan has made provision for that, at least in the form of assistance, so that divers may enjoy even further peace of mind. Thank you for joining Dan.